Hello everybody, this is Seath Record here, and before we start off today's video, I have a very important message for all of you. I'm gonna say the n-word. That's racist, you can't say the n-word! Hello everybody, this is Seath Record here, welcome to Seathercast number 11. No, not Chris Raygun's 11, but <laughs> uh, but yes, number 11. I, I've done 10 episodes this already. Just, just say your name. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is CC Mackay. I make quality Christian content on YouTube. No, we don't want to get demonetized. Don't mention religion. It's it's no, it's it's quality Christian content. Okay, that means it's kid friendly. We don't we don't do religion here. Okay, no religion, just kid just kid friendly. Can it be quality? It's all can it be quality Muslim content? It has to content? be quality Christian <laughs> content. Quality Christian content. Um, as for the content I make, I try to make content that's based around like problems I see with YouTube. I also try to make memes, but usually uh, I take too long editing, so they're dead by the time I post them. Like, I made a I made a Ugandan's knuckle Ugandan knuckles meme with the Slenderman trailer that came out in January, right? Okay. And <laughs> that came out in May, or I don't know, whenever Ugandan and Knuckles died, and I, I wanted to post it because I remember in January I was like, I want to make this meme, but I don't know how to keyframe. So I was like, okay, make them. Let's make it when I know how to keyframe. Oh, really? And then the meme was meme was dead. I like the video. I like the video. It was a 20 second meme, but the thing is, is that it's like it's a dead meme, and uh, it got a lot of dislikes because it was a dead Ugandan and Knuckles meme. So I was like, oh. That's sad. Yeah, YouTube doesn't usually respond well to like easy, easy to get views meme videos if there's like no, no real substance to them. I'm not saying it didn't have substance, just people tend to think that. But I think, yeah, like I saw I think like only. Oh, say go go yeah. ahead. I was sorry. I was just gonna say there was like actually a video. Someone took like, I think it was the uh, the Linux penguin, and they like made it like swerve its arms to the "This Is America" song like a few months ago. I'm like, "This Is America" meme has been dead for like half a year. <laughs> and who the fuck uses Linux? You know. When did that come out? This is America. Uh, about, I think it was like, friggin', I think it was June or something. I don't remember. I was it summer? I don't know. Anyway, we're all, we're off topic. We're already two minutes in. We're not even going. This is CC Macy, not the Ryan CC, not the Ryan CC. He's someone, someone, someone who watched this video. So just just mentioning it. But we have a YouTuber on. He's known as a. Would you want to classify yourself as a furry YouTuber? I know the freaking no. last pod, podcast episode, <laughs> the freaking entire comment section was fighting over the last dude over him. Was he a furry YouTuber or not? I don't know. But do you have have you ever had any non-furry YouTubers come on? Because I've I've, I've like looked at some of the previous episodes and I kind of like I just wanted to, like I couldn't figure out if you've had any non-furries on. I've had Is two, that true or no? I've had two. One of them was in an episode, and the other one we recorded it, but it never went through. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, yeah, for the most part, it's just, it's always been furries. Uh, it's just, I like to make it furry-centered. I just, I, the thing is, you made a video with Wolf Aside, so it, you're furry! Anyway, no, no, no. But. I, it's, uh, I'm, I don't want to be a furry. I, I, thought, don't, I, I don't, like, it, hate furries or anything. Furries are cool. I thought they're, they're for a second... You were gonna say I don't want to be considered Wolficide's friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, Wolficide's cool. Uh, shoot, uh, he was on a podcast. That's right. But uh, because mm. it's just—I mean, no, I'm not really a furry. I—I I, I know it's just an otter. It's literally just an otter. I right now it's a actual otter. Like most people that have like art of their character. And speaking of which, uh, your girlfriend, Karam Kramchi, is that right? Yes, Kramchi. Kramchi is, I commissioned her for uh, new sprites. Oh, nice. So, uh, okay. did, you, did you know about that? Or, yeah, 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 I knew, I knew, I knew. You messaged me about, uh, no, she didn't oh, tell me yeah. what, she didn't tell me what you commissioned, but yeah. What I, okay, so you, you're not a furry, yet you commission a furry artist for furry-centered art. Be I, sprites, I, but... I made specifically aware to her that it was not going to be a furry 
And uh, you're in denial. Dude. I don't know if she was. I don't know if she was sad about that or not. Uh, and no, I'm not in denial. Like, just, we're not. No. We're gonna take a lie detector mm -hmm. test. <laughs> like, freaking, are you a furry? You say no. And then the red, so the pet, red paper, the paper starts going red. Goes like swimming around. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. And, <laughs> I mean, it can be argued that. I guess it can be argued that that my character is a furry because like, it's considered a talking otter, and I don't know if you consider talking a human characteristic because like birds can talk but i don't know if they know that they're talking <laughs> they're just replicating sound but with I, I if you consider if you consider a furry a animal that has human characteristics then technically i'm a furry but i i don't own like a fur costume or anything like fursuit fursuit I, or anything like that i own one so <laughs> oh you do yes i do i don't show it in my videos anymore people don't give a shit about them but no i'm kidding it's because no, you, I, you I just don't do i don't action. i don't use it as much probably because you can get beat the shit out of if you just wore it by yourself in public where i live so um people do that yeah it's horrible but it happens but anyway um anyways yeah but anyways i don't want to sound rude but uh when it comes to your youtube videos explain to the audience exactly what the fuck do you do <laughs> uh um, oh, that's that's a that's a hard question to answer. Um, it's it's varied. I like to make content based on like I I have a mindset with my content that I'm gonna make what I want to make. I don't try to follow any trends or anything. And if I do tr follow a trend, I'm gonna be very late to it. Uh, f as for how like what happens in videos, it's a uh, otter that usually uh how how do I how do I put it. Uh, I make an otter go zoom across the screen. Uh, <laughs> uh, I it's mainly just uh, it's hard to put into words. You'd have to see it for yourself to understand. I don't think it's it's not very conventional what I do. I don't think it's very, sometimes it's not very uh, it's it's difficult to edit as well. it looks simple, but it's like tedious. Not difficult, but tedious because mm -hmm. it's like I'm just moving the otter. Uh, every three seconds in a different angle every time my voice has a different inflection inflection is that right inflection yeah, I thought you inflection said in voice different inflation what the fuck I don't know in no we, we ain't talking about it. <laughs> I don't know I mean it does it does it I uh, it does grow bigger uh, we got it's it's a very uh, interesting anime subplot because we got multiple sub characters we got Riri who is the embodiment of every annoying commenter on YouTube. We got uh, your boy, Otter Sign Boy, who holds a sign whenever I mess up <laughs> a line in my uh, in my videos. Who else? Uh, we got the main the main otter, who is who's me, CC, and that's that's really about it for my channel. Uh, I mainly try to, like I said before, I mainly try to go for with my Saturday specials. That's what I call them. I mainly try to go for topics on YouTube that haven't been talked about enough. Like, I guess for- is it okay if I go on about my- yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, you can. Uh, oh, so um, you're just gonna assume it's fine. I see how it- no, I'm kidding. Oh, dang, dang, shoot. I, I messed myself up now. Oh, no. Uh, alright. So, there's the Wolfie Chew video. I'm sure you watched that. Uh, did you watch the Wolfie Chew video? Oh yeah, I did. I watched Wolficide's video on Wolfie Chew. I watched your video on Wolfie Chew. I watched Wolfie's Wolfie Chew's video on the Wolfie Chew drama. <laughs> Wait, she she didn't. I watched. No, she didn't. I watched Wolficide's grandmother's video on the Wolfie Chew drama. <laughs> oh heck yeah. Uh, but like with my Wolfie Chew video, it basically talked about the uh, problems that I saw that both sides didn't bring up. Uh, it's been a while since I made made the video, so I'm gonna have to like rethink what I said uh it was the defense the people who were defending wolfie chew were kind of over exaggerating how much uh attack and hate wolfie chew herself was given uh it's a it's, it was a very opinionated argument i'd say it wasn't there wasn't no right side both sides were kind of in the wrong uh if you want to i don't want to really explain it here because like 
it's a 30 minute video and it's a lot so you can go check it out if you can sorry for the self plug but it's easier explaining that video than explain it here but I just that's basically what I do with my channel I try to go for topics that haven't been talked about enough in YouTube I see that uh, a while uh -huh. oh. sorry if I interrupted oh. a while back I made a video on Tide Pod clickbait because I saw that like there was a lot of people who were just making Tide Pod clickbait and uh people who pretended to uh, eat Tide Pods and then like say, oh, in the title, oh, this is this is uh, me eating a Tide Pod. And then it's like, it's, it's just, it, what's the word? It encourages uh, lazy behavior on YouTube with like not putting effort into your content and just making and just getting tons of views from it. And then you got the families who were like using their children for Tide Pod clickbait. Whereas like my child eats a Tide, does the Tide Pod challenge. And then they throw, and then they're like, it's a 10 minute video to get that sweet ad revenue, right? And and then you get to the end of the video and they just throw it in the washing machine. It's like, yeah, I did the Tide Pod challenge, whatever. And it's just, it's just, it just encourages getting views for doing no work and that's really one thing i want to see i agree well, one thing i want to bring attention to with my channel mm -hmm. what were you saying i was gonna say i agree on that a lot and it actually makes me kind of have more respect for the people that make the videos on tide pods where they actually eat them than the people that fake it i'm just like come on don't pussy out just if you're gonna if you're gonna do something stupid own up to it don't just be like oh i'm gonna do something stupid but i don't do it Oh crap! Uh, shoot, my setup. Oh, that's a good. That's a good uh, segue because my setup's falling apart in front of me right now. <laughs> uh, all right. So, with my uh, setup, because it's, I feel like I have a pretty special setup with my recording area. Uh, I'm in my closet right now, uh, recording to an upside down blue snowball that's hanging from a hanger. Uh, I taped two sleeping bags around the walls to soundproof it and I have two pillows above me to block the sound from above and uh, basically I taped the two the two sleeping bags to the walls and now one of those sleeping bags are falling down because I didn't put enough tape up you're, hopefully you're, you didn't I didn't hear it but you're pretty much in your own like DIY bunker bomb shelter right now <laughs> oh heck yeah when World War 3 comes I'm gonna be set and you'll and still we'll be move. making YouTube videos because you'll be the only one that's not dead. So you'll still be able to make videos and you'll get all the views, even Heck though even yeah. though even though everyone will be dead. So I don't know who can watch the videos besides yourself. But you know, no, nah, YouTube's gonna be not YouTube's basically gonna die because they're they're well not well of course they die because World War Three kills everything right. And I'm still here in my bunker, so I'm gonna be the C the new CEO of YouTube, and then everything's gonna be good because. Uh, YouTube is a great website where nothing goes wrong and totally doesn't need to fix a lot of its problems. Or instead they can, you know, just like nuke every country in the world except for India and then Indians will rule YouTube. Oh, wait. T-Series <laughs> yes. is, is a great channel. I still don't get how, how like, I mean, I guess it's a good example of how YouTube works, but like their content is just like, you got f five videos, I'd say, usually in a row that get like under... 100k views and then suddenly one video gets 10 million views and you're just like oh okay is it usually that's, a music video that gets 10 yeah, million it's, it's usually a music video that makes that's more sense seeing. that makes more sense it, it does but then but they're still getting like major amounts of subscribers which to me doesn't really make much sense it, even though it's like in my honest to god opinion like the people that make the actual content for tier series are talented they are but the people that run the freaking channel like the company they're they're the issue, and the thing is, like, I believe someone, like, quote me on this if I'm wrong. Like, I, I heard that it's basically, like, when you sign up for YouTube, if you put your demographic as, as Asian, it automatically subscribes you to T-Series, because India, so... Yeah, that was, a, that was a rumor going around. Uh, I haven't... I don't know if anyone's tested it, because, I, I mean, I heard that, like, this, you're the third person I've heard say this. Really, I think if that was happening and there was full proof it'd be all over youtube and youtube would be getting a lot of hate for it because it's unfair towards channels who 
are like like PewDiePie who doesn't have that happen for him anymore at least uh, but because it used to happen for him in like 2013 people used to get auto subscribe to him when they first made their YouTube account mm -hmm. and which isn't fair because he wasn't the one doing it it was someone outside of the channel doing it mm -hmm. also I don't know if T series I don't know if T series would I, I don't this isn't like fact or not but I don't know if T series could be should be considered a uh, the evil thing, but like a product of, it's just it's just the per the, it's just the company that ended up getting, uh, all these subscribers. I don't even know how do you, how did they how do you think they got like that much, uh, like traction? Because it kind of just happened out of nowhere. It's a lot of like it has to be doing with YouTube intentionally promoting it a lot, and also because India is like. I don't know if it's either India or China, but the most populated country in the world and a lot of Indian people being like, and I won't deny there's not that much Indian content on YouTube other than T-Series. So I feel like a lot of Indian people are like, we got to back it up. Got to support the home team, you know? Yeah, I guess so. But uh, you can't really blame them because they don't, usually India doesn't have as much access to YouTube as compared mm -hmm. to the rest of the world. So they kind of don't really know how like the whole YouTube system works as well as the rest of the world does. So, you know. Yeah. Anyway, we just talked about this T-Series. Let's go back on track. Here. Yeah, I was going to I was going to say let's, let's cut those train tracks and go backwards and crash into the wall. Um let's talk about um your content again. I will say that like when it comes to the freaking content you make, which is good. I really like it. I noticed that like you also create like okay, so you make like these highly edited videos talk about clickbait i don't know how many videos you made on clickbait but a lot there are like is your channel's really clickbait centered talking about it you should become the clickbait furry i don't know no, i'm just kidding but um oh, heck yeah but uh that should be a good username i don't know i don't know that's probably uh, that would probably be the most that's probably the most interesting username i've heard in a while and the last one i heard was a username called redneck pudding but this besides the point um but i was gonna say you have that and then you also have these like short meme videos and then you have that one video where you were playing Deltarune for eight hours <laughs> oh heck yeah I actually with the I'll, I'll get on to the uh the meme videos but with the Deltarune video uh, I it was getting more views than like any it was getting more like 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 a constant views more than any other of my content and I, it was about to be the first video to get 1,000 views on my channel and I was kind of like no, I don't want that to be the first video to 1,000. So I privated it at 900 views, <laughs> so it couldn't get any more. And then the Wolfie Chew video got to 1,000, and I was like, okay, now you can get unprivated. And then it went up to 1,000 views, and I was like, oh, all right. And that's the thing I hate about my channel sometimes, because I, I'll make, like, videos that don't take a lot of effort. Like, that, that stream, it's an 8-hour stream, 7-hour stream. But it really doesn't, it that did not take a lot of effort. It's just sitting down and playing a video game. While I'll make a 20 minute video talking about what, FoosyTube or WolfieChew or Tide Pod clickbait, and that'll get like 200 views. Well, the WolfieChew one's at 1,000, but at first it wasn't getting views. But it's, it's something I, I dislike about my channel sometimes. Like, uh, another example would be I made a FoosyTube meme after he deleted his quote unquote deleted his channel. It's back now, I think. And that got 800 views like the first three days. And I was kind of like, oh, that took 30 minutes to make. Uh, hmm. The thing is, that's th I understand how you can feel bad about that, but I, as someone who's been making YouTube videos, not just for two years, but how long I've been like at least somewhat like doing traction with youtube like i've been making videos for six years on mm -hmm. different channels before but it's gone back as far as six years and the problem is that i, I even went into this when i had wolf aside on it's like now to be fair your situation is different than from wolf aside it's like wolf aside would tell me like oh man i've been i work on videos for like 12 hours straight and i only eat like one hot pocket in that 12 hour period i'm like dude what the fuck but no but with your situation is just like, and I won't deny, I fall into this too sometimes that you can't get too wrapped up into the numbers, man. Like, if you want to make, like, if do you like, what is your ultimate goal for YouTube, I would ask? Is it to get successful 
or is it to like get a lot of views and subs and make money or is it to make content that you want with that i don't mm, i started you if i want to answer that question i should probably start with my first video why i actually created started making content uh my first video came out literally december 25th christmas morning uh it was on irony on youtube like mess up mess ups with irony the reason why i made it was is because in class we were learning about irony and how the, the many layers of irony and how it can be mixed up with coincidence and whatever and i was like oh i want to make a video on this because i felt like it i honestly just felt like making a youtube video and it took me and i had no i had no editing experience and i had no no idea how to make a youtube video how to speak i'm uh and i just took me two months I think to make it took me it wasn't two months of like rigorous editing it was it was two months of on and off uh trying to make this video that I had no clue how to make and then in the end it came out it was 19 minutes long I think I think it was it ended up being 19 minutes long and looking back on it it's it's a bad video I'd say but I'm still proud of it and I see. It's, a, it's a pretty good video so but but back to what we were it, saying it like, came out on christmas why, day right yeah it came out christmas day so I, we're about to i think if i would say i know it's kind of contradicting to say like don't focus on the numbers but like if you if you do have like the intention of making it on views i wouldn't recommend uploading it on christmas day because people are going to be spending time with their families and not really looking at youtube so mm -hmm. yeah but yeah i know but um like if i could ask you do you focus too much into the numbers sometimes or do you not or is that like not really your objective with youtube but i i feel like it is because you feel bad about like videos that don't take as much effort getting more views than videos that take more effort if i focused on the numbers uh i wouldn't be making this content i'd be making tiktok compilations and uh minecraft let's whatever fortnite not minecraft minecraft's dead uh, <laughs> uh, Fortnite Let's Plays, whatever would get whatever trend, uh, ride the trend wave, whatever. But I I don't do that, and not because I want to, but really because I can't. <laughs> I I don't have enough time to try and follow trends or make these or, and I don't have the will to want to stoop low to making compilation videos. I'd rather just make the content I want, and even if, even if videos aren't going to get a lot of views it's going to be it's going to be disappointing i'd be lying if i said i wasn't disappointed with videos not getting views i'm sure everyone is like excited when a video that they made gets views and when a video they they put a lot of work into doesn't get a lot of views they get sad from that That's... but i'm 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 gonna make the content that i want to make and i'm hoping that as i keep doing this my fan base will grow around this fact that it's content i want to make and they'll grow to like the content that i like so it won't be like oh you made this one video that we all came here for it's gonna be okay i'm gonna make this and i'm not gonna base my content around this one video i made i'm just gonna keep going with what i've been doing so that's that's really about the views i see that's if that could be the thing if you want to avoid that bad feeling of that i would say like when you take your channel like it's okay to experiment because you know whenever like be it like virtually everyone on youtube like even like the biggest channels if you look back to the very first like couple of videos on their channel they're completely different or they're a bunch of random stuff it's because they're still experimenting of what to find and that's fine if you have videos like that in the beginning that's fine that they don't have as much views because that's not what most people are there for once you find what kind of content you want to make stick with that content and only make that content as, and I'm pretty sure like if you want to change it uh, or if you want to add something new or you want to start doing something new I don't this might sound a little bit on the fence or not sure whether or not this is the right idea but I would say personally like if it's too different from what the content that's already your main channels focus like make a new channel or so like I love making gaming videos but I put it on another channel because I know those aren't gonna get views if I put them on the main channel I was thinking about that too, and I was thinking, if people want to see gaming videos, they'll actually look for them. So what I was thinking was, there's a new Fire Emblem game that's going to be coming out, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I want to make a play let's play on that. But I know that, like, I've never done a let's play on my channel before, 
so it wouldn't do well. But I know people, at least one person, is going to want to watch that. And I'm going to be playing the game, so I might as well record myself playing, you know? Isn't so that on the, what I was isn't thinking, that on the 3DS? That's okay, it asks? Mm, no, Switch. Okay, I don't okay. know if they're going to put it on 3DS. I just know that I think like the last Fire Emblem game was on the 3DS, and I'm like... You're gonna yeah. need either a, an emulator, or you're gonna need a 3DS capture card, which costs like five or six hundred dollars. Uh, I'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or you could just like stream it on Twitch. You know, if you want to do gameplay stuff, you can stream it on Twitch, and then maybe upload the stream to YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I was thinking was is that if I was gonna I'd either do a funny moments or not funny moments, like best moments, or I'd do an actual like series. But if I'm gonna do a series, I would post the first episode and then I would unlist every episode after that and then put them in a playlist and then from there if people want to watch it I just go ahead and make like a little uh I, I just say every day or so there'll be a new video that comes out and I'll like post on my twitter and discord that a new video is is out on the playlist and whatever so if people want to watch it they can watch it there That's if good. they want so it's like it doesn't clutter the channel with videos and as well it, it lets people who want to watch that content actually let them watch it without really spending too much time uh like wasting time how do i put it with me like spending more time on content that they don't like i guess so it just it appeases every side without changing my content a lot i guess it makes sense you get what i get what i'm saying yeah i yeah. get what you're saying yeah um I feel like we have about 15 more minutes of this podcast left to go. I would like to already? make ourselves... Yeah, it's been 25 minutes already. Time flies. Um, I would like for us to usher our way into... Um, the next thing I kind of want to discuss is like how YouTube is. Or like at least for like... I, I, I would say that you're more like one of those YouTubers after explaining it more that doesn't really have like a niche crowd or like a niche community you put yourself in. Would you say there would be like the Wolfie Chew... YouTubers or something like that or like YouTubers that do like more animation based even though it's more so like moving images instead of like actual drawing animation are you asking like what community I'm a part of yeah or... yeah that I don't know I'm gonna be completely I don't I don't I don't make commentaries on like I see commentary channels who make commentaries on like I, and this is not dissing their channels, but a good example would be Doodle Tones, who makes commentaries on uh, subjects that wouldn't be considered like problems with YouTube, but more like uh, why FNAF is a good game slash bad game and defending one YouTuber. Like, I don't make that content. I make content that's based around YouTube and problems I feel that should be solved. And I don't, I'm not a rancher. I try to make sure that like my videos are as less opinionated as possible and have evidence in them that can be Makes sense. backed and backed and all that. But uh, I don't I don't know what community I'd be put in. If if so if I was going to be put in a community, it wouldn't be by my own choice. Someone else would have to decide that for me because I honestly have no clue. I see. Like, if what I, do you think? I don't. I, I feel I can understand you being like not in a community, and if that's the case, I guess I would we, I would like for us to discuss like what really makes an experience on YouTube different if you make content that's so like not really part of like to a certain community or a genre of video, to where it's kind of a mixture maybe of two or three different things, to where it's like its own unique thing compared to like a person that makes videos for a type of genre or community. So like. Would you say there's any like kind of like struggle you experience of not really being a part of a community on YouTube? I wouldn't say it's a problem right now, but I'm sure it'll be a problem in the future. Uh, that would be getting content to actually create because I'm going to get to a point probably because I have three videos planned right now and I'm sure I'll have more planned after that. But if I start making content faster, so I make I, my content comes out really slowly. I'd say usually it's going to be a video every once every two weeks or once every month. So that's pretty slow. But if I start making content faster, I might run out of ideas for videos or problems that I actually see. And that, that is a good thing if I don't see any problems, because mm -hmm. <laughs> that means there's there's no problems, which should be the number one goal. But once I start running out of problems to talk about, that's when the channel has to change to something else while we wait for problems to show up 
you know i guess and maybe you could use that time to like kind of like boost the creative spark to it you know mm-hmm. like instead I, I guess it could oh, make sorry. you more no it's okay i was just gonna say maybe it makes you more of like a ranter channel but i guess like when it comes to like ranting about certain things but like maybe like you could take in some form of like creative like twist to it maybe like i don't know let's say for example like you maybe like kind of create like a storyline for all of your characters you have a part of your channel or something and make like a little series on it to hold you off until it gets time to make videos on the rants again or on the topics. I have, topics. Mm-hmm. I have an idea for what I want to do uh, with that because I do plan on doing storyline stuff but not in my Saturday specials. Saturday specials are meant for are primarily meant for talking about problems with YouTube while I don't want to spoil what I'm going to do because it's going to be kind of out of left field what you're going to see on my channel in the next week or so. <laughs> but um, mm-hmm. it's it's I'm going to definitely be going for a storyline thing on my channel, which I hope goes well. Maybe not. It's going to be. Oh, no, that'd be spoiling. I can't say much, but I'm just going to say it's I'm trying to I'm going to try and go for a storyline thing. We got to be so, vague because, you know, we, gotta... we, we have to be very vague. Yes spoil it on twitter no (laughs) like they did with star wars no but anyway um but yeah um i think that's actually kind of a good place to wrap it up uh i would say um if you if i could ask you like you've been going without making any content for like a little over a month now you said like in a week you'll be coming back to youtube yeah finals is a thing and i want to I've been trying to put school first, so once break comes, I'm gonna be going full throttle, throttle, throttle words. Uh, there you gotta we go. get the grind in, you know what I mean? Put in that 50, 60 hour work week for YouTube, man. You know? Oh uh, heck yeah! Yeah. Uh, but go like Rockstar Games does. No, but. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, but I'll I'll be going. I'll be there'll be a lot more videos coming out once, uh, like I I get an actual like break from school. I assume no more so. Delta Rune videos. No. Uh, well, I mean, there is a Delta Room video coming out in hopefully next week because that's why I did the live stream. Okay. Is so I could is so I could get uh footage and prove that I actually attacked a uh, sentient checker piece for five hours straight. It has really was... sexy and thick legs. So. It it does have long legs. You're right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway. I remember. Mm-hmm. Oh no, go! Oh, sorry. No, no, it's good. It's go. good. It's good. Go! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but I would say, uh, is there um, any form of like social media you would like to advertise? Um, I know you have YouTube, obviously, but is there anything else really? Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's, C- so there's uh, my Twitter, uh, at the real CC Oh yeah. Also, it's it. I don't know, Cether, if you earlier this podcast you you pronounce it i think cc massey cc massey yes it's makai <laughs> my bad uh, everyone it's it's people say my name like it's it's a weird username cc it's cc m-a-c-i so it's like how do you pronounce that so that's why i have to i have to say my name at the beginning of like most of my videos so people actually know how to say my name <laughs> yeah it's just getting a little confusing uh, for me because i have like a really close friend whose username has cc in it so mm-hmm. it just gets me tongue tied. It's just a weird coincidence. But anyway, continue with the social media. All right. So Twitter at uh, the real CC Uh You can join my Discord if you want. That's uh, I don't. How do I advertise a Discord link? <laughs> it's on. It's on my channel. About I'll link it in the description. Wanna... Don't worry. I'll leave the invite link. Yeah. And then there's also a Patreon. I'd be surprised if anyone wanted to donate to my Patreon. But if you want to, go ahead. We uh, some pretty. Actually, the rewards aren't that. Uh, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be modest. The rewards aren't very special, but uh, it's basically just a way to donate. So if you want to donate, go ahead. But I'd be surprised if anyone wants to donate here. Donate one dollar a month, and you'll get oh, access yeah. to his private Snapchat. So I don't have Snap. I, I don't believe in Snapchat. <laughs> I have like no social media except for Twitter, YouTube, and if you count Discord, Discord. I don't have an Instagram. I don't have Snapchat. I don't have any of that. It's just, it's just, it's just Twitter. I see. I'm a very, I'm a very not tech savvy person. Okay, makes sense. Um, well, that's pretty much it. Is there any last words you want to say, or any last things you want to add in before we end off this video? 
if you haven't already, subscribe to Seethercord. He makes pretty good content. Thank you. I enjoy it. I've been watching more of it, actually. Well, thank you. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a good thing to watch while I'm just... Uh, usually, it's just while I'm editing. Mm -hmm. It's a good background noise. It's good. Thank you. Um, yeah, so uh, subscribe to me. Not CC. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's fine. Just, um, yeah, this is his. Uh, check out everything. YouTube, Twitter, Discord, all that good shiz. Um, yep, we're all done here. I've been Seether Cord. I'm CC Mackay. And we will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Nigga! Oh! <laughs>